For thousands of years, mankind thought they were the only ones to have mastered the art of Pokemon battling. But they were wrong. Using battle tanks to control their Pokemon's moves and switches, fishes are rising up to try and become the new champions. Cue the music. What's up guys, from Caddy here, creator of the Epic Fish Battle series. Now today I've got a very special episode for you guys. Well, what we're going to be doing is taking my fish, Bubbles and Sushi, and facing them off against each other. They've both got either Cooper or George's team, and they're going to be playing against each other to recreate the GBA Season 6 Championship Finals. And we're going to see exactly how it goes down from there. So you guys may be wondering how this works exactly. Down below you can see my fish are swimming around in the tank. Based on their positioning within the tank, they can dictate whether their Pokemon's going to pick a certain move or whether to switch that Pokemon out for another one. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the battle. Bubbles leads off with the Mega Gallade as Sushi leads off with the Tars in a very interesting matchup here. Goes the Gunk Shot doing a really good amount of damage and revealing the Life Orb there. A Leaf Blade's not going to do too much, possibly predicting the Manaphy switch there. Goes the Shadow Sneak, that's unfortunate. He would have outsped and been able to do a good amount of damage there, but is going to go down to a Gunk Shot. Outcomes Wayband goes the Aqua Jet, very, very well played on Bubbles' part. Now it's just been a double down. Outcomes Blue switching out here into the uh, Electabuzz as an Aqua Jet's not going to be doing too much to this guy. Gets the Static as well. That's unfortunate because this is a Choice Scarf Wave Man. Goes to the Volt Switch and goes out back into Blue. This could be set up opportunities, but no, he switches back out into the Electabuzz here, taking all sorts of damage here, expecting <laughs> Bubbles to switch at some point, but no, Bubbles is happy just to keep clicking that Aqua Jet, get as much damage off as possible, and this tactic is working as well with all of this switching, decides to stay in, unfortunately goes to HP Ice there, not doing much towards the Wave Man, so Wave Man is putting in a lot of work right now, unfortunately Para there, as he does switch back into the Mana Fee, this could be potentially set of fodder, but no, he decides, Sushi decides to go for damage here and try and take out this Wave Man, Gets the power again as the energy ball is going to be able to take him out from there. So what is, what's he going to bleed off? He comes out into Star Raptor. This is going to be doing a good amount of damage. But he switches out here into Shadow Man as out comes the Gardevoir. Sushi making an excellent double there. Um, Bubbles going for the trick there. Tricking the Assault Vest onto himself. That might not work out too well for him. Because I don't think he has any moves. So now he has the pranks to struggle. That was a very, very poor play on Bubbles' part. And that's going to really help Sushi pull ahead on this. Goes the Psy Shock here as the Gardevoir just goes to the Moonblast just to get some damage off. Gets that special attack drop as well, which is going to be really, really huge. Out comes the Manaphy again as out comes Star Raptor. Star Raptor doing a huge amount of damage there with that Bereave Bird. As Sushi decides to go for the Energy Ball, possibly predicting the switch. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> as he does switch out into the Electabuzz, um, Electabuzz trying to sack that off. And he does manage to sack it off from there. Out comes uh, Sushi with blue again, taking that Brave Bird on the chin there. Is he going to go for the Engine Ball? No, he goes to the school, so he does manage to take out Storm Eagle there. This is going to be a very interesting game with uh, Bubbles only having two left. Out comes the Gardevoir here, switching out onto a Weezing. That was a very, very bold move there. Goes for a second T-Bolt there, doesn't get the power as a Psy Shock is going to come through and do a huge amount of damage to poor Gemini Man there. Out comes the Manaphy. Oh my goodness, that's some pro plays there. Because now the Manaphy is going to be able to live and get a potential school off. But no, he decides to go for Energy Ball here as a Pain Split. Oh my goodness, that's not a good play from the Weezing's part. Because now the Manaphy is going to live and he's going to be able to get another hit off from here. So that was a very, very bad play on Bubbles' part. Because now the Weezing is a lot weaker than it was before. Out comes the Beedrill. Is it going to be able to go for an attack move? It does. And it goes to the Poison Jab, taking out the Weezing. And finally, is it going to go for another poison jab? It does go for another poison jab. The berry, unfortunately, does not pull through. And that is going to be game from Sushi's side. Well, there you go, guys. That was the battle. Sushi managing to pull ahead with a win on this one using George's team. That was a really, really fantastic battle. Very interesting plays on both sides. The most notable play, I think, was the trick with the <laughs> prankster non-attacking Sableye to obtain that assault vest and force himself to go for that prankster struggle. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. On top of that as well, if you want to check out some of my other content, if you click on my channel icon there, it will take you over there. And if you want to see any of the other epic fish battles that have been going on, don't forget to click on the icons on the right hand side here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.